Happy October 1st. I got a shiny whooper. And they have icons now. Oh my god, little fairies here to eat as well. Calling all cat owners. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday. I didn't record yesterday. But as you can see, we are at Lapis Lakeside. Let's pick up all of our goodies. I'm wearing my favorite nap club shirt. Though it's a little stained here. You don't really see it. I also have another bug bite. I don't know. I guess the mosquitoes or bugs here love to bite me on the side of my neck. It's not itchy and it doesn't seem to be a mosquito bite. So I'm wondering like, what could it be? And earlier this morning, there was this annoying humming sound that was going on for quite some time. So I woke up thinking like I got tetan tinnitus, tetanus, whatever you pronounce it. But no, it was just construction. So October 1st, happy October 1st, 30 days until Halloween. Now I don't really celebrate Halloween much or dress up for it, but I love seeing what other people come up with for costume ideas. So if you celebrate Halloween and you have a very sick costume idea, let me know what you're dressing up as. I also have something exciting to show you guys later, so we will do that after this. But I did see a Ralts there and it's been quite some time since I've encountered a Ralts. So I'm very excited to see whether or not I could pick that up. And the old gold power plant is coming out tomorrow, so how many of you guys are going to easy pass and switch over? All right, so. Oh, nice, it's a big hit. So we are able to catch that one right away. Let's see if it's any good now. I got a B grade for last week's sleep session, which was kind of surprising to me. And I'm almost max rank. I wanted to pour some candies onto my Espeon and raise that, but I didn't have enough Dream Shards. Calm, okay. If I remember correctly, Calm is a main skill up. So it is apple, corn, and apple. We got... Oh, that is not a gold skill I would want there. Sleep EXP bonus, helping speed S. Skill trigger at 50, that's pretty late. Ingredient finder S, not really needed. And inventory up S, which is not really needed either. Sorry, did I say ingredient? Never mind. I don't know. Now I'm like, did I say ingredient finder S or did I say ingredient something S? But yeah, it is mean skill chance up, speed of help down. So this is not a good one. So I'm going to discard that. Ideally, you would want skill trigger SNM before 50, like my Wigglytuff does. And I would want a sassy nature on that, which is main skill chance up and EXP down. So if you take a look at my Arya, who is finally level 60, I just got a candy from the gauge being full for when you have max level Pokemon. But it is now collecting oils, my first and only level 60 Pokemon. And it has skill level up M, skill trigger, skill trigger M, and then helping speed and skill level up. Skill level up is very, very late though. So there is that. And then there is the sassy nature. So the best Pokemon I have. Now, let me show you guys my Espeon. So at the time and still now, I don't have any better EVs to evolve to replace this, but this is the Espeon I have. As you can see, it has Berry Finding and it's Helping Speed Berry Finding, which is a good double... Well, it's nice to have Helping Speed on Berry Finding Pokemon, although this is not a Berry Finding Pokemon. But Berry Finding, we got Inventory Up L, Inventory Up S, and Skill Trigger M at the very bottom. So yeah, it is a Skill Trigger Pokemon. However, I kind of prioritized on the berry finding aspect of it. 
And then it's main skill chance up, ingredient finding down. Ingredient finding down, which is nice when you're having a berry finder, just so that it rolls more berries when it's finding stuff. But my question to you guys is, should I be using, like, is it worth using a main skill seed on this? Or should I, down the line, invest in a better SP on that has skill trigger SNM? Since it does have charge strength M, you know? So, I don't know. When I was raising this, I was like, I really want it to be a berry finding because how cool though would that be, right? Now, hindsight's 2020, I'm like, hmm, I don't know. Did I screw myself over? So, as you guys could see here, we found a shiny Eevee before. We went through this. It was alright. Nothing I can really decide on making, but... I got a shiny whooper! Oh, it's so cute! I love the color. I do not want to evolve it ever because I just love how it looks like unevolved. But it is mushrooms, potatoes, mushrooms. We got skill level up S, skill trigger S, ingredient finder S, skill level up M, and helping speed M. And the nature is a sassy nature. So honestly, if I didn't have the Wooper or Quagsire that is triple mushroom right now, I probably would have used this, even though it is not triple mushroom. And ideally, I would want a triple mushroom because that Quagsire now is my mushroom farmer compared to my Gengar. So I don't see myself using this in the immediate future, but I'm very happy that I got it. And then the routes that we got. So let's just send that away right now forgot to put lip balm on before recording so my lips are feeling a little dry let's see if i can make lunch i wasn't able to make my ninja salad i still cannot so i guess i'll wait but yeah i'm back at salads it's been a while since i've had a dessert week so i kind of miss dessert week let's pick up our sleep points and the shop also reset so we could buy all of our cookies and master biscuits again i got 20 diamonds which is nice and i think yesterday i got an ingredient ticket all right so there was maintenance and because of the new time change of when they're doing maintenance i didn't even notice they did maintenance compared to previous times where when it was almost midnight at my in my time zone, which is EST, I would get the maintenance and then if I forgot to make break dinner, if I forgot to make dinner, then I would have to either wait until one, until the maintenance is done to feed dinner or just take the L and skip out on a meal. So kind of glad that they switched that up. There was also a response to inappropriate conduct. We won't go through that though, but when you guys if you guys ever want to go through that you can always go through that through your own time but as a little refresher for the updated contents for version 2.0.0 there is the addition of the old gold power plant that is arriving to the game tomorrow at 3 p.m and you can open or unlock this island by completing registering 340 sleep styles so i actually have enough will i be using an easy pass tomorrow though I don't think so. I think I'm just going to wait out the entire week and then go there next week. There's also an addition of two new sleep style dex goals, which will be added tomorrow as well when the old gold power plant is here. And there is the preparation of the old gold power plant debut event, the addition of the new ingredient, rousing coffee, and the addition of six new recipes. So that should be super exciting. We can finally use multiple ingredient tickets now. And the adjustment to the back button that we saw, the little quality of life update, which is really nice. And some text adjustments and other small bug fixes. So actually, let's do the ingredient ticket one right away. Where is it? There it is. Use. Let's do two. How cool. Ooh, actually... No, I still need leaks for my dish. Let's do another two. 
large leaks and they have icons now because before it didn't it was just text so as a vis visual person i actually really like that they added the icons there so i could just see at a glance what i got now let's take a look at the notes section it's been a while since we've been here because we've pretty much completed all of our ingredient but there it is the rousing coffee should be right there and then for the dishes there's two new curry dishes two new salad dishes and two new dessert dishes so i cannot wait to fill that up let's just see do we have enough to cook it oh we still do not all right well let's test the back button so we go here we go here i'm just gonna go through all my pokemon to see if any one of them unlocked a new sleep ribbon and no they did not so now i'm gonna hold the back button and there it there it well there 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 it is i don't know why i stuttered so much trying to say that but yeah very nice quality of life updates super happy about the ingredient ticket as well and the icons those icons are so huge fabian and i finally maxed out on our closest level congratulations oh and sniffy and i are now closest level one all right let's see what everyone found i had a really great weekend so friday i had dinner with a friend and that was really nice it's the friend that i made in the condo and we just caught up a little bit it was also a belated birthday celebration for her and we also used to go to the same university however i only remember i think i only remember seeing her in one of my courses but she's friends with a girl that I was also friends with. I have her on Facebook, but I just never like met her directly or hung out with her. So such a small world. There is an art canine on top of that Snorlax. I actually encountered my first art canine over the weekend as well. And finally encountered more onyxes. And I also encountered a Steelix on Sunday. And thank you guys for all your comments in the last videos letting me know the whole situation with onyx because for the longest time i was like do people just not use it but it's a combination of things so onyx is a very good berry finder i learned that but on top of that as you guys know it is pretty difficult to encounter an onyx and then when you encounter it it's pretty difficult to catch it as well because there is a lot of bars on that bad boy so yeah, that's the whole onyx thing. Now, Saturday, I had a really great day also. I hung out with some friends. We were invited to our friend's house to pretty much gather. It was a little um, going away party for one of our friends that are moving out of the city, of the province, actually. So that was super fun. And on Sunday, we had a little family day with my family. I took my little siblings, my boyfriend and I took my little siblings out to hang out. And we had some hot pot, which was super delicious. And I wish I brought it here, but I forgot. Actually, no, it's not here. I, there's this place called Heidi Lau. And for the longest time, I've been really wanting the fairy wand. So I would always go there and I'm like, little fairies here to eat, but they never had the toy. So uh, sun Sunday was our sixth time going to Heidi Lau, my little sibling's first time. So my boyfriend told my little, sis my little sister, oh, you should say little fairy is here to eat to our server. So she says it to him. And to me, I didn't want to say it because I'm like, what are the chances they have it? Because the five other times we've went, they didn't have it. And guess what? Lo and behold, he brings out the bag. He gives it to my little sister. She's pulling the toy out. And I'm like, oh my god, little fairy's here to eat as well. And he laughs, so he goes back. He brings me back a little baggie with my own fairy wand. And it was just a, a very funny moment. 
but I'll show you guys the fairy wand in another video. I love it so much. It makes me feel like I'm living up to my Sailor Moon dream. And pay, pay, pay. I always thought that was payday for some reason. Pay, pay. Congrats on the shiny flake cocoa. That beautiful starburst pink color. Okay, is it just me or is every time I go back, I have to like scroll? Which is weird. Yeah, that is very annoying. I'm not sure if they're aware of that or if they plan to fix that, but how inconvenient. Especially for people like me, if we're, if a good segment of our video is going through everyone's catches, right? Yeah, it was really nice seeing my family. I also learned that my mom wants a cat, so calling all cat owners, I need some help from you. I've never owned a pet cat before. I do not know anything about cat care, so I've been trying to teach myself a lot on what is a good breed, how to take care of it, things that you should know. I know that there are certain plants and flowers, like lilies are poisonous or toxic to cats, as well as the bird of paradise plants. And stuff like that so there is that um, I know that some breeds are better at catching mice than others but it is not good if your cat eats mice because some mice might be poisonous or there's like a parasite toxoplast something that the cat might get and it can transfer to humans so there's also that but in terms of my mom wanting a cat, I never thought I would hear the day of my mom saying that she wants a pet, let alone a cat. Because growing up, she, also, she always said no to us when we wanted pets. So I think she's just a little lonely now that her kids are like really growing up. The youngest one right now is in high school, halfway through high school, about to enter a new phase in her life and do college. But yeah, I feel like my mom's just feeling a little lonely, you know? So I really want to get her a pet cat and I was thinking about a rag doll because rag dolls are super well this is what I read okay I heard that rag dolls are super affectionate and they they try to get your attention and they're super cute and great pets for families with kids and the elderly as well so I think a Persian no sorry a rag doll cat is perfect for my mom Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Bloom filled sleep. The meganium, meganium bloomed all those flowers around it and it's so pretty. This is my first time seeing that. But yeah, I want my mom to have a very affectionate cat. Something that can make her feel loved and just something cute for her to be around, you know, to give all her attention and energy to. So my little siblings told me that she wants a white cat um she wants it to be a kitten i'm guessing because she wants to like see it grow up which i totally understand i think if i got a cat i would want it to be a kitten too and she wants it to be pretty <laughs> and i thought that detail was just so funny she wants a pretty cat and i love that i love that for her so i'm just in the process of like looking around so ragdolls are my number one persian is second and then british long hair cats I don't want something too energetic because my mom is dealing with some health concerns so she gets very tired quickly so ideally something that won't require her to move around too much so yeah that is my little cat journey right now and honestly i'm so excited we're not allowed to have pets in here if we could, I think I would totally have gotten a cat as well, but it's going to be so fun whenever I come visit and I see their cat. And I'm so curious what my mom would name her cat too. But yeah, that is a research community tab. It is extremely lame that every time you press something and go back, it goes all the way to the top like that. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure someone else has probably complained about it already. That was pretty much my weekend. And then yesterday was a nice day off. My boyfriend had 
the day off because they're it's a holiday in Canada for some industries so we pretty much enjoyed having a relaxing morning I also started dance classes again the season started just yesterday so his sister and I went to our dance class it was a lot of fun and it's been like what three months since I've danced so picking up the choreo again was a little difficult or just like it felt like I was dusting off all the cobwebs in my in my body because it was definitely challenging but I know like throughout the session it's gonna be easier to do the moves and pick up the choreo quicker because you know if you don't use it you lose it so I'm very excited to practice the choreo at home before my next class on Monday I was supposed to have a pole class today but I totally forgot about that because I usually do it on Wednesdays but I'm doing a different course so that's why I had it booked for this Tuesday but it totally slipped my mind so I had to do a last minute cancellation which meant that I do not get to have the class back to reschedule and I it was just too late for me to show up because by the time I realized it was like time for class to start so that kind of sucks but you know that's just how life is sometimes so I gotta be super diligent and that was the only time I didn't add it onto my calendar which is the importance of organizing your life and having a calendar it's not really like me to miss on this so i'm kind of like whoa i must have been pretty busy or my mind must have been occupied but yeah that is my weekend and my week so far i'm very excited to see other people go to the old gold power plant tomorrow because i get to live vicariously through them before i make the jump myself next week and very excited to see what the dishes look like as well and also the icon for the rousing coffee that will be a lot of fun so let me know if you guys are going to old gold power plant tomorrow or if you're gonna wait for next week like i am thank you guys so much for joining me in another video i really appreciate it every time you do don't forget to join us in the discord if you haven't yet the description the, the link is always in the description um if you have been watching for some time but you just haven't subscribed because i do look at the analytics and a lot of the returning viewers are not subscribers so let me know why that is and if you just forgot that's fine too hopefully this is a reminder to subscribe <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then take care good luck and have fun bye